Hi everybody, I'm Selena Brilla and this is DIY Live, Huntsville, Alabama's YouTube channel dedicated to capturing the underground. And today we are here at SMC Studios in Huntsville, Alabama, of course, because this is Huntsville's channel, with Mr. Scott Clayton. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's just get to know each other a little better, Scott. We've known each other for a few years, you know, in music and passing and all of that stuff. But let's talk about your studios here. How long have you been, how long has SMC Studios existed? I think this is the 18th year. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so it's been in several locations. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it's this month, I think, 18th. Well, let's talk a little bit about your background in recording. Like, how did you learn uh, to do all of this and then make it into a, your own place? Well, I started uh, way back when I was a wee tyke. Oh. Actually, I was. I started in TV when I was like uh, junior in high school. Oh, nice. And and uh, uh, it, you know, when you're working at a small TV station, you do everything. You know, you learn to do the lighting, you learn to do the TD, the technical direction, you learn to do the cameras, you learn to do editing, you learn all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I did that for a little while, and uh, I met um, uh, a guy that owned a radio station, and he wanted me to come work for him on the air. Oh, cool. I, uh, for a little while. So, you know, I was still in school sometimes, and then I, when I got out of school, I, I was working at a real job mm -hmm. at Redstone and working Saturday nights and Sunday morning shift at a, at a radio station doing mostly on air, but sometimes production and stuff like that. So that, you know, I enjoyed doing it, but family, kids, and all that mm -hmm. stuff came along, and I sort of dropped that off and concentrate on my real job. So you had job. a radio show. What was the name of your radio it, show? I, I don't think I had any. It was just a Friday night shift or Saturday night shift. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know I got in trouble a lot because I never, I didn't play the playlists. I brought my own music in. Sweet. And, I mean, if and, you get that opportunity, right? Represent yeah, well, the, the owner didn't usually listen to his station, so I only got caught a few times. Nice. But uh, What yeah. kind of music did you like to play? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. We're like, getting to know you. Yeah, better. this was like you know, and this was a long time ago. This was in the late seventies. I mean, you know, whatever. You know, it was the harder stuff like ACDC, and you know, and then the more uh, album oriented stuff like our, you know, like I said, I just brought my collection in. So there was everything from, you know, Pink Floyd, through all the from Kiss to you know to whatever was like, you know, Gary Wright, whatever was like, top. 40 at the time, as mm -hmm. long as it wasn't pop. I didn't really play that or any country or any of that stuff, but it was rock. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and then after that, I, 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 like I said, worked my regular job for the government most of my life, but I played in bar bands. Mm -hmm. So ended up doing, you know, when you're playing a bar band, you end up, whether you want to or not, doing running sound, oh, running sure. lights and all that stuff, just because that's part of it. And uh, um, and then I got disabled. I got hurt on the job. I had to have a spinal fusion. So uh, I was used to working a lot, playing in bands and all that. And I suddenly wasn't able to do that anymore. And I started, oh, wow. thought, well, I'm going to build me a little studio just to play around in. And it got bigger and bigger and a couple of levels and more rooms. And, and it got to be out of hand. And, of course, what happens is your friends go, hey, uh, I got this song. Think you could record me? Because mm -hmm. it was just for me messing around. They go, yeah, sure, and then it just sort of grew and grew, and, and I moved into a commercial facility in Hazel Green. I think you... I went there. Yeah, yeah I was there. I went to a party there. It was which really Which was, fun. you know, I don't know, five or six years. Yeah. Uh, commercial, you know, the whole commercial room is a different thing, taxes and overhead and, mm. and everything. Uh, utilities are way more for the mm -hmm. same amount. Anyway, it just became unfun. Mm -hmm. And so then I sort of semi-retired from doing that, built my own little studio, and this is the fourth incarnation and the last one. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm not willing uh, to do this again. I'm not moving ever again. Ever, and, ever, uh, ever. Unless the guy takes me out in the gurney, I think, maybe. That's, that's it, because I, I don't... But, yeah, and, and I just mainly work with folks that I've worked with before. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, people, I like their music. I, I pretty much know them that way. It's sort of it's sort of a lazy way because, you know, you know what to expect. Right, right. But but when you get older, I don't know. It tends to make it not fun a lot of times when you when you run run into problems, and and I just like to pretty much stick with, you know, music I like mm -hmm. and people I like. So. 
it's great that you're able to do that, to, to you know, be like, this is the music I like, and these are the people I like to be around, and these are the ones I want to work with, and you don't have to have to do things. Right, you know? right. It gives you a certain amount of freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you got to watch it not to become arrogant, and like, oh. you know, you know, because that can sort of move over to that spot to where it's like, ah, I don't have to do this, and you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I think it allows me to do, you know, plus it allows me to, it might not be fair maybe sometimes, I think, to some of the other studios, but it allows me to, you know, if a new band comes in and they can't really afford the rates, you know, mm -hmm. and, I, and, and I, obviously I like them already anyway, otherwise I wouldn't have thought wouldn't about have working with them. Right. And I go, okay, well, what, you know, what can you afford, you know? Just, let's just work something out. And that, and that also gives bands that you normally wouldn't hear. Love that. You know, them getting a recording at a certain level, they would be stuck uh, staying at home, mm -hmm. you know, and recording it themselves and whatever. But right, but instead they can come here and get it professionally right. done at at a rate that's affordable to them. That's awesome. And the deals with like bands rehearsing too. That's that's sort of a you know that's become. I can tell that COVID, at least from the band and the venues perspective, is is coming out because. Uh, the bands are starting to rehearse again. Yeah. And I have, yes. I have, you know, it started off being, well, I'm not, I don't have anybody booked today. So if you guys want to rehearse, right. you know, that's, that's fine. I mean, it's, nothing's going on, you know, mm -hmm. I can still work in there and they can rehearse. That's where that started. And it got to be where there was less and less places for people to rehearse. Right. Uh, you know, Guitar Center used to, they, they shut, there was some, several other places. And now I'm almost have bands in here every day. There's like one day I don't have bands. I would know I was looking at your calendar earlier. Sunday I got two bands. So, I mean, you know, it's real, I can tell it's ramping up. And that's, that's a good great. thing, I think, for everybody, you know, but. Uh, Absolutely. So how, how many, um, how many records do you think you've recorded here? Do you have any idea? Do you keep track of that at all? I mean, there's some on the wall in there, you know, but that's not even. That's not, that's not, I have no idea a right. lot, you know. Okay. I mean, not a lot compared to like, oh, well, sure, you know, sure, like, sure. You know, I mean, this is Eddie Kramer or somebody, but right. I mean, like, uh, you know, I mean, I've done quite a few uh, and, and some really good ones that I'm proud of. Some, you know, I'd like to, years ago, I'd probably like to go back and go, can we do that? Redo that, you know? Right. But yeah, but there, there's some talented people in the area, as you know. At, uh, right. Very talented, so. Huntsville is definitely does not lack in in musicians no. and musicianship and talent. That's I, for sure. And being involved in it, some, and I think I bet you probably feel the same way too. You sort of feel like you have a grasp of the talent. You oh know? sure. But I don't because I continually hear and see people that I'm, I'm amazed at and That's go, you know, true. like, wow, they, you know, where have these guys been? You know, I've mm -hmm. been here for years and I haven't heard of them. And these guys are amazing. Some guy's been sitting at home practicing and all of a sudden he starts a band and you've never heard of him and he's those are the best nights aren't they Scott? Yeah. like you go to a show and you know you didn't have never heard of or seen right. that band before and then they take the stage and you're like oh this yep. is amazing usually for me it's like i'm going to see a band or you know one of my clients or right. somebody i know or you know that and then the yeah, opener band you know mm -hmm. and, uh, and, that, that's and I, matter of fact i think that guy right there is in one of them isn't it right yeah i, I remember the first time <laughs> yeah. i saw them yeah. yeah and i was like whoa you know this takes me back to Kill them all and yes. you know, stuff so like that. They're playing so. that old metal that I grew yeah. up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. I was there. So, <laughs> um, so uh, what else do we need to know about SMC Studios? Like, how should people get in touch with you if they want? Well, you kind of pick and choose who you want. So, would, should if somebody wanted to, would they have to like just just hit me up on Facebook? That's the best way to do it. I do okay. all my business on Facebook. That way. It works out better for everybody. You know, I can check them out. They yeah, check I do me a lot They of already know. Too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, yeah. You sort of, you know, now you don't really, you know, I mean. Emails aren't used as much. Like, Facebook is a very easy way. You and can it's message them and do everything. And it's just a way to sort of check them out a little bit, you know, too. You can listen to some of their stuff. Mm -hmm. And they can, and then usually what I tell them is, hey, you know, yeah, I like some of your stuff. If you want to do something, come by and we'll hang out and talk about it and see how, you know, see, see what how the rapport between. Yeah. The because that's a lot of this, the, the personal, you know, interplay that, that communications and how you guys get along because music is such a art thing. And, and, you know, there's a technical side of it too, but if you, you know, if you're uptight or if you're whatever that comes across really, and I don't want that. I don't want to be all upset. One of way back in the day, 
I'm on the other side of the glass in the studio, sitting on the drum set, recording. Mm -hmm. Nervous as hell. Mm -hmm. Big studio, you know. And I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, I've never been in a studio before. Mm -hmm. This was a long time ago. And, 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 and the engineer was great, and the place was great, and the sounds were better. But I felt like I should be in church or in some kind of meeting with my boss. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you couldn't smoke, you couldn't drink in there, and, you, you know, you felt like you just... I don't know, you felt really, res like, you know, like you're meeting, have, I don't know, it just didn't feel like, and I, I thought at the time, I was like, if I ever do this, if I were on the other side, sitting there in the console, mm -hmm. I want to make it to where, you know, like, I'm going over to your house, hanging out, and then we just start jamming a little bit, or playing something, or we just, it's real laid back. And that's that, got to be reflected in, in what you report. I think so. Think. I think it makes a lot of difference now, yeah, you know. I would have to. But you'll have to ask some of my clients about that but they tell me that's the vibe they get and that's what I'm trying to put out mm -hmm. uh, but be professional you know I don't want to oh sure know, but yeah but anyway yes but. so when you were in a band you played drums mm -hmm. okay so that I didn't know in my head I thought you were like a guitarist or something I mean I can but you know, I can, see I can you play guitar drums. but you know I, I don't play guitar well enough to want to you know I'm like right. if I'm in a band with I don't want to be in a band with me playing guitar <laughs> No, but like, playing drums is You know, good. back in the day, I was okay. You know, my son, Scott, you know, you know and, and I'm spoiled that way now. If I want drums done now, I don't want to play them. I'll call him over but, to do them. And Scott's a great drummer. So, yeah. you know, he's one of the best I've worked with. So, it's it, that you know, it's real lazy there, too. But uh, I do, I used to love to play. You know, we mm -hmm. played, you know, several times a month. And, and back then, venues booked two nights, usually. I don't know if you remember that that mm -mm. pattern but you know a lot of venues didn't just do one-nighters they if they booked you they wanted you there friday and saturday night. oh wow interesting yeah. no mm -hmm. i missed all of that time because yeah of course we're talking way back in ancient times but oh, you know. so 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 far away yeah bone yeah. knives and bear skins and all that stuff you know oh my and you could bring those to bars then huh mm -hmm. yes yeah all right, well, we've been doing this thing where it's like if you had five things, that, oh, no, five words, in five words, and you wanted to represent yourself in SMC Studios, what would you say in five words? Wow. You should ask me this, like, before. Oh, uh, and I know I've seen you do this before, too, and I should have been prepared. Uh, you know, me, I always say music is my religion, and it's not a cliche. It is really, there that we go. It is literally my religion. So, you know, I would say I'm very religious, and music's my religion. There you go. You know, that's probably the main thing that I do. I don't like, I, I like things to be laid back, you know, no drama. No, nice. No, that kind of thing. So, um, I think I'm pretty easygoing. I usually don't get upset. If I do, it scares me. So, oh. So most of the time, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly laid back. Um, I enjoy musicians. I, I like talking to them, and you know, that kind of stuff. So that goes back to being my religion. I don't, everything revolves around that. I'm not sure what, you know, what else. Uh, I got a lot of kids and grandkids, so I should yes. mention them. And sure animals like, upstairs, oh too. God, I, yeah, when yeah. I came to visit, I was like, you've got a little zoo back uh, here. There's a menagerie in there, literally. Yes. So, yes. 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 There's so, all different kinds of About animals. About 20 or 30 different animals, yeah. Yes. Some of them, the turtles we have, they'll outlive all of us. 150 years, they'll live, oh, too. Yeah. You better have it written down and get some well, at some I'm point. Well, I'm planning on, like, you know, getting in a, I don't know, stasis <laughs> pod or something, living longer. <laughs> Well, I think it's super cool that you're able to, to run your studio in the, in the way that makes you happy. That's, you know, when you can live your life the way you want to live it. When you get older, to me, the older you get, the more you realize that, you know, a lot of things don't matter. The stuff that you worry about and get upset about and, you know, that, that stuff really doesn't matter. And, and a lot of it you can't affect. You can't change anyway. Mm. You know, so I think, the, you know, you, you just need to do things. You, I mean, come on, you know, un, within reason, you know, you, but you need to do things that make you happy. Life's really short. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know. That, Way too short to be spending it, wasting it, being yeah, upset and yeah, angry. Right, and so right. Yeah, you know. Don't be a hater. All right. Well, thank you so much for having Matt and I here at your studio today. I'm Selena Brillo. This is Scott Clayton. We are at SMC Studios. You can look them up on Facebook. Look Scott up if you want to talk to him, and he'll decide if he wants to talk to you. Thank you, everybody. That sounds so arrogant. <laughs> It's not like that. We, but I mean, I know you. I know that you're not. I mean, yes. Yeah, okay. But whatever. It can sound as it is, but still. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. See if they'll fit into your happiness. Right. Yeah, see if they'll fit well, in. Well, thanks, guys. I want to thank you for coming by. Thank you out. for having us. This has been really fun. It's nice to be here again. Yep. Yes. All right. Thank you. I already said the I'm Selena Brillo part, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you don't say over and out or something like that? Or? No, oh, I just usually say thank, thank you. you.